Hi everyone, in this video we are going to install a Viking game kernel developed by Junkit from Mesa Developers Forums. Now this kernel is based off Arco 68 CM10.2 kernel, so this may only be compatible with AOSP ROMs such as Cyanogemo 10.2 and some other similars. So for now, there are two variants available of this kernel, both are for the LTE and the 3G version. Unfortunately, there is no version for now available for the Duos users. I suppose one of the most notable features of this kernel is that it supports BNL, meaning that it supports backlight notification. You just need an app such as BNL Control and you can set up, for example, your backlight keys to show you notifications whenever you receive messages, email, missed calls, and so on. And so, okay, let us begin with the installation. Download the zip file into your SD card. The installation procedure is the same for both 3G and LTE users. At the moment, I'm using the LTE variant. So like I said, it's just the same. Simply power off your phone first and then boot into recovery mode by holding the home button, the power and the volume up at the same time. Once you're in recovery mode, follow the basic instructions as if you are installing a custom ROM, but except that you don't need to wipe data. Simply go to install zip, choose zip from external SD card and now simply locate the kernel zip file of inside your SD card. Here it is, Vikinger. So as you can see, this is for Jelly Bean 4.3 and choose yes to confirm. Should take just a few seconds and it is done. Simply go back and choose reboot system now. Your phone should start up perfectly as long as you are using an AOSP ROM which has Android 4.3. So the phone should boot up without any issues. Let's just head into settings and take a quick look and see to verify if we are actually using the kernel. So as you can see kernel version Vikinger. This confirms that the kernel installs successfully. So the next step is to open up the app called BNL Control. And you need to enable it. Basically from here activate. As you can see it is functioning. Now if you are on a stock kernel or some other kernel you would have uh, you won't be able to activate it but since this kernel supports it as you can see you are able to activate it and okay so um, it is activated now it's time to test so I'm just gonna put my phone to sleep now like this and I'm gonna use my other phone to send myself an email and we're gonna see if the notifications will light up oh there you go as you can see they light up so this is perfect if you are not using any ringtones for notifications, neither are you using vibration, for example, you're somewhere at school or at work and your phone is at the table, you're not allowed to use it. This is really helpful to see notifications as you can see. Um, the backlight buttons light up and they'll stay lit on until you check the notification. Once you put your phone back to sleep, they'll also go to sleep. And there you have it, as you can see, there is no need for me to send an email. The phone manages to use the backlight notification without any issues. So that is all everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. If you want to see more videos in the future, hit the subscribe button. And once again, everyone, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.